Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about the top four programming languages to learn in 2019. And my list is based on three factors, the popularity of the language, the tendency for it to become really valuable and popular in the future and in 2019 in particular, and the salary numbers for the particular programming language. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Number four, good old Java. Java was created over 20 years ago in 1991 by James Gosling. And fun fact, he's actually now working at Amazon as a distinguished software engineer. Java is a general purpose programming language. And of course, all of you have heard of Java. A ton of big and small companies still run their software on Java and still continue to develop in their software using Java. The key of Java's popularity is write once and run anywhere. Java also is the primary language still for Android applications. So if you want to go mobile, you can still use Java for that. Why I'm saying still is because Kotlin actually, a language developed by the company JetBrains, has been becoming really popular. So now a lot of platforms actually do move to Kotlin. And that's part of the reason why I put Java on place number four. However, despite the fact, still a lot of companies do use Java to name a few. It's Slack, Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, where I work at. And Java is still really popular. Stack Overflow 2018 survey shows that it's been used by 45.3% people. However, if we look at the interest for Java over time, it has definitely declined. And I I think it's due to its verbosity, due to the fact that it's a little more complicated to use and definitely has downsides. So that's why Java earns number four in this list. Number three is Go or Golang. Go was released in 2012 by engineers working at Google, and they literally made a list of things that they didn't like about languages they, they've worked with before and decided to develop their own language to address these problems. And so it was literally built by engineers for engineers. And to name a few besides Google, companies like Adobe, Dell, Facebook use Go in their software. I put Go as number three because one, it has been increasing a ton in popularity. According to the Stack Overflow 2018 survey, Go actually also boasts to be the top three most wanted language, which again proves the point that it is in demand, it is gonna be a hot language, it already was in 2018 and will be ongoing 2019 and further. Besides that, Go is also a programming language in the top five of the most paid for programming languages. If you jump on it early on, you will be a highly seeked after, a highly specialized developer in Go. And I think that is extremely, extremely valuable. So that's why Go earns number three in my list. And I think this is a great, great time to start learning Go. Number two, is Python. And of course, what kind of programming language list goes without Python nowadays? Since 1991, when Python was developed by a Dutch developer, Judo van Rossum, Python has been gaining extreme attention and popularity. And fun fact, Judo now works at Dropbox, mostly writing Python. Python can accommodate any kind of needs really, especially now with the hot technologies like machine learning, data analytics, artificial intelligence, all of these technologies can be supported and written in Python. So Python has a ton of applications. And even if you're a web developer, Python has really great frameworks like Django that you can use for web development. So it's still actually a great time to jump into Python, especially with the amount of automation that's been on people's mind right now and in all kinds of businesses, whether it's a small business or a large business, Python is extremely great for automating pretty much anything you can imagine. There is plenty of jobs out there for people who are thinking of migrating to Python or for companies that already use Python. And to name a few, we at Airbnb use Python, Dropbox uses Python, 
Google uses Python, Coursera uses Python, just to name a few. It also is used by big players like NASA. NASA uses Python to write their software applications. Besides that, Python is actually also extremely easy to learn. Python is one of the easiest languages and even if you Google Python on Amazon, you can see that a ton of books are actually about Python because it's a very easy to get started with language. It's got a great community and great documentation. So that's why Python earns number two in my list for top languages to learn in 2019. And number one on the list of programming languages to learn in 2019 is JavaScript. I know that JavaScript is a language that a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with. However, JavaScript is so evolving and it develops so quickly. They always release new versions that actually JavaScript today is very different from JavaScript that you might have used, learned, seen a couple of years ago. It's much better now, it has much better paradigms. And if you're looking to become a web developer nowadays, you pretty much cannot do without JavaScript. Actually, one thing that a co-founder of Stack Overflow, Jeff Atwood, once said is that any application that can be written in JavaScript will eventually be written in JavaScript. JavaScript also has a ton of applications. You can develop desktop apps, we can develop mobile apps with frameworks such as React, you can develop backend services, you can do pretty much anything. And if you want to develop any kind of browser plugins, it of course will use JavaScript. And as I said, mobile application is one good example of that. With React Native, you can write your application in JavaScript and it will run across all the mobile platforms such as iOS, Android. JavaScript is also the most popular programming language used by people according to the 2018 Stack Overflow survey with 69.8% of people using JavaScript. And to name a few companies that use JavaScript, that would be Reddit, eBay, Airbnb where I work, Instagram, and that's just a few. So if you are looking to learn a programming language today for 2019, if you learn JavaScript, you will not go wrong. That is it for me, guys. That was the top four programming languages to learn in 2019 based on the three factors such as market, salary, and tendency to become really popular. And I hope you enjoyed this video. In the comment section, please let me know what has been your most favorite programming language to develop in and why. I would love to see what you guys all think. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and put the notification button on to know when the new content is coming. I will make a few separate videos for programming languages to learn in 2019 based on other factors. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye for now.